Hey guys, welcome to Moyong, the cooking channel that's not so useless. This video is part one of a mini series showcasing one of the many barbecue meat recipes I grew up with. So today, I'll be showing you guys how to cook char siu style barbecue pork ribs. This is definitely one of my favorite recipes growing up, and I know without a doubt in my mind that you guys will enjoy this too. So, the ingredients you'll need are pork ribs, washed and left to dry for a few hours, light soy sauce, chicken powder, char siu sauce, raw sugar, salt, and lastly, malto syrup. Now, for the quantities. So this recipe calls for one kilogram of pork ribs. Now, these ribs are Chinese cut ribs, not the standard American style cut ribs. Personally, I prefer the Chinese ribs as they have more meat and are cheaper than the American cut. If you're not a fan of the membrane, be sure to remove it. However, having grown up in an Asian household, we typically don't like to waste anything. 12 grams of light soy sauce, or approximately 1.1 tablespoons. 1 gram chicken powder, or approximately 1 teaspoon. 185 grams of char siu sauce, or approximately 0.6 cups. 10 grams of sugar, or approximately 2.5 teaspoons. 1 gram of salt, or approximately 0.85 teaspoons. And finally, malto syrup for the glaze. Once you have measured out all the ingredients, put aside the pork ribs and malto syrup for later. Begin by mixing the remaining ingredients in a big bowl. You want the bowl to be sufficiently big enough to mix these ingredients and also big enough to marinate the ribs in. Once everything is in the bowl, start mixing. As we mix, we are aiming for the salts and sugars to melt and dissolve into the marinade. What you'll notice is that this marinade is quite thick, but it will become quite watery once the ribs get a chance to marinate in it long enough. Now, because I was filming this at the start of winter, you will notice that not all of the salts and sugars are melted before I add the ribs. This is okay, and if it happens to you, you will just need to follow some extra steps. After a few minutes of mixing, the marinade has started to resemble a poorly melted caramel, and I decided to stop there. Again, it is okay if the salt and sugar has not fully melted yet. Now grab your ribs and start marinating them one by one. Be sure to lather the ribs with the marinade, and massage the flavour into the ribs as you go. Once you are done with your first rib, repeat the same steps with the other ribs. Once you are done, they should look something like this. All sides of the ribs have been covered with the marinade and they are ready to rest. If your ribs are like mine, you can still see the individual grains of salt and sugar. To alleviate this, leave the ribs out for about half an hour to let them warm up a little and mix the ribs again afterwards. Repeat this process one more time or if you're really committed, until all the grains melt. Once the ribs are completely marinated, wrap them up and put them in the fridge for at least 8 hours or overnight. I find that 8 hours is an adequate amount of time to allow the flavours of the marinade to permeate through the ribs. After we've allowed the ribs to rest for at least 8 hours, we can start cooking them. Luckily, I already made a batch ahead of time, so I do not have to wait to show you guys. Before we cook the ribs, be sure to bring them out 30 minutes before we cook them to allow them to reach room temperature. For ease of cleaning, I've chosen to use my portable oven. This is an easy cook portable oven 
and I believe we've been using this for well over a decade. So I highly recommend everyone watching to go get one if they haven't. Set the oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 356 degrees Fahrenheit and we're going to cook the ribs for about 30 minutes give or take. Once your oven is preheated, pop the ribs in and sit back, relax and come back again in 25 minutes. But be sure to mix those ribs in the marinade one last time to get a bit more flavour. Or you can just watch the ribs cook. When the 30 minutes is almost up, pop the Maltose syrup into the microwave for about 30 seconds. We want the syrup to be runny, so that we can put a nice glaze on the ribs once they are cooked. Go ahead and put a generous glaze on the ribs. Obviously, the more you put, the sweeter the ribs will get, so apply per your discretion. When you're satisfied with the glaze, turn up the temperature as high as you can and cook the ribs until the Maltose syrup starts bubbling. And be sure to watch the ribs so that they don't burn. Once the ribs are done, take them out and be ready to serve them. But before that, just stop and appreciate the smell. When serving, cut them along the bone or keep them as is and they are ready to go. So guys, that was my family's recipe for char siu style barbecue pork ribs. If you ever get the chance to try this recipe out, be sure to comment below and tell me how it went. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe I'll see you again in my next video. See ya.